Our challenge. People with lung cancer are treated like they deserve it, like they deserve to die. Lung cancer kills more people than the next three cancers combined, yet it receives the least funding. Why? Because discrimination against people with lung cancer is real. Our objectives. Bring to light the discrimination against people with lung cancer and start a national conversation. Step one, flip the stigma on its head. So we started naturally with cat lovers, hipsters, crazy old ants, the smug, the tattooed, and people who just look too good and declared they deserve to die. The idea was to bring the absurdity of thinking a person deserves to die to light. We used people who secretly may be the victims of quiet discrimination themselves as examples. The teaser campaign launched on telephone booths in over 30 major cities, including Boston, Seattle, New York, and Chicago. Within hours, the conversation took off. Step two, let it burn. Television stations covered the mysterious postings. Deserve to Die became the second most popular story on Yahoo for two days with over 5,500 comments. There were over 2,000 mentions on blogs and websites in 140 media outlets, including CNN, The New York Times, The Huffington Post, Salon, and Adweek. Of course, we seeded specific search terms and sent people to the website noondeservestodie.com. The site featured a Facebook feed of ongoing conversations, along with a countdown clock as to when we'd reveal the killer's identity. Step three, expose the discrimination and begin the education. We quickly replaced the teaser posters with posters including the organization's name and copy referencing the stigma. Cinema ads began airing. Lung cancer doesn't discriminate. Neither should you. Wallscape projections were shown in various large markets, and a new educational landing page appeared. An app showed how many of your Facebook friends would contract and survive lung cancer. Within days, Lung Cancer Alliance had more page visits than they'd seen in the entire previous year. And all told, an overwhelming percentage of the sentiment posted about the campaign has been positive. We publicly launched the Lung Cancer Alliance brand and in the process, raised positive awareness for a cause sorely in need of support.